I want to leave everyone with a final takeaway. Every innovation first begins with an idea. From the tallest skyscrapers to the most beautiful pieces of art and powerful experiences like Yanga, they all started as an idea in our minds. As Muhammad Ali beautifully articulates, if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. There are two factors that contribute to your success, though, that separate those whose ideas remain a dream in their minds and those who make them a reality. The first is believing in yourself. Self-doubt is one of the greatest obstacles that we face in accomplishing our ambitions. You must have the courage to take risks, to overcome your fears and pursue your goals. In my personal experience, the treasures of life are never found on a walked path, meaning your courage will inevitably be challenged and you will face situations that push you outside of your comfort zone. Whether your adventure is professional fulfillment or personal discovery, you must not be afraid to walk your own path, to venture where others have not gone. There is a reason why treasures are buried deep within jungles and caves and treacherous terrain, because only the dedicated will find their way to them. The second factor is about taking action. It's not enough to talk about your goals and the change we want to see in this world. We must take action to make it happen. There is an infamous question, I'm sure you've heard of it. Are leaders born or are they made? Too often we look at our world leaders and influencers in media and think they are better than us. That they must have some special gift that makes them prime for their success and we just don't have it. The truth is, we are all human. The difference that sets the true leaders that create impact apart from yourself comes down to just one word, initiative. Leadership is not a birthright. It, leadership is an act. Leadership at its core is taking initiative. When a leader sees an inefficiency, an injustice, or a problem, they feel responsibility to take action, to speak up, to stand up, and solve it. The wonderful thing about this concept is everyone can take initiative. Therefore, everyone is capable of being a leader. And so, as we end the inaugural Yunga Forum, I have one question for you. What initiative will you take to create a better future for us all? We have identified and discussed the future youth want, and now we must act on the second part of Yunga's theme, the action we need, and take initiative to make that happen. So, what will your effect be? Thank you.